I got some footage of an object of interest in Berlin that I think you might like to see. And uh, before I show you the actual footage, I thought we'd get a look around the neighborhood and kind of figure out where we're at, what things look like today. Starting off here with this building, which is the Zudkreuz train station. We're going to spin around here and head down what is called General Papa Street, P-A-P-A, -A, toward our destination. And what you'll notice is that on the left-hand side, it's going to be mainly train tracks. Right-hand side, lots of little industrial type stuff. But all of this is, at least in my definition, of walking distance to the object or the destination. And I myself walked this when I got the, the footage that I'll show you. And um, while it's a very non-touristy area today, this area was during the Hitler time and during the um, the early World War II era, this was slated to be a very important part of the new Berlin, the new capital of the Reich, which was to be called Germania. And Germania was to have all kinds of new structures, very impressive, very large and heavy structures, which were going to run through this area that is today very nondescript part of Berlin. It starts to get a little bit more residential as we approach the object of interest. You start seeing some apartment buildings which surround the object today. And as we get closer, you're probably going to be able to see on the right hand side there's kind of like a metal structure sticking up here. And then back in the back behind all of these bushes and trees. Very hard to see anything back there in the summertime, but in wintertime you may be able to see a little bit easier back there the object that we're visiting. And if you'd like to see it for yourself, you just come to this little structure here on the days that they're open, during the hours that they're open, and pass through there. They will release you back into this area behind it which is where you will find today's object of interest, something dating back to World War II. I don't know if it fits in frame right now, but in English, something like the heavy load bearing body. And we're just gonna walk around here and get a look at this thing. I'll give you a little bit of info on it and try to get in, in frame to some extent. We're gonna climb some towers, get some views, but first let's look at the outside of this thing. Maybe go over here, see if, see if you can see the whole thing. This is in Berlin. You might have heard of it before. There it is, it's almost in frame. Right? And basically this is, it's just a giant piece of concrete, rounded. And it was put here in 1941, middle of World War II when things still looked pretty good for Germany, right? It was designed and uh, supervised by Hitler's architect, Albert Speer. And you can see this part has a little cutout in it along here. You can see they have done quite a bit of uh, touching up over the years, right? 1941, a long time ago. We'll see if we can get into a place where you can see all of that touch up stuff that's been done over the years. Trying to keep that heavy load bearing body together in one piece so we can still see it today. You can see there's kind of a low area down in here. So this whole thing was uh, put here, as I said, by Hitler's favorite architect, Albert Speer, for one purpose, one purpose only. It wasn't a bunker to, pro <laughs> to protect from bombs. You can see there's a big foundation that goes underground there, and then the part that you can see. So it wasn't a bunker or anything like that. Its only purpose was to try to test the soil here in Berlin to determine how far is this thing going to sink 
is the soil going to be able to support such a heavy building because the idea was at, th at that point still in 1941 right the idea still was that Berlin would be transformed into this amazing capital of the Third Reich and as part of that they would build these giant very very heavy arches etc in Berlin and they needed to try to establish how well would the soil hang how well would the soil be able to tolerate all of that weight So, looks like this is as far as we can go in this part. Why don't we walk up to the neighboring tower that they've put in place and uh, try to get a view from up there. Well, I gotta tell you, I love this kind of stuff. I hope you do too. You can see that the uh, heavy load-bearing body is just in a standard old Berlin neighborhood. Nothing special really, right? It's uh, residential. People live in these buildings. And here you can get a view of the uh, subject of the video, right? Obviously the very top has been touched up pretty recently, whole thing. Trying to hold that thing together. And this gives you uh, some idea here on this little map of what Hitler had planned for, uh, Hitler and his architect had planned for Berlin, and we're right here, there's a little white dot, and then there was supposed to be a very heavy arch right in this area. So that's the story from the Schwerbelastungskörper. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you come see it for yourself. So until our next adventure, Goodbye.